Good morning to all ladies and gentlemen. We are again back with the current affairs for the CDS, NDA, FCAT, INET and SSB. And this channel is military Inc. sponsored by SSB Show Shot Academy. And I am your coach Rajpreet Kaur and let us begin with the very first news. Punjab will burn if Satluj Yamuna Canal is built. Amrinder Singh to center. Punjab will burn and the state's water sharing dispute with Haryana will transform into a national security problem if the Satluj Yamuna Link Canal is completed. Chief Minister Amrinder Singh warned the center on Tuesday at virtual meeting, which also attended by Union Minister Gajendra Singh Shakhawat and Haryana Chief Manohar Lal Kathar. Cricketer Ishan Sharma, Archer Atunudas, among 29 recommended for Arjuna Award. Indian pacer Rishan Sharma was on Tuesday named in a 29 strong list of athletes recommended for this year's Arjuna Awards by the Sports Ministry Selection Committee. Male recurve Archer Atunudas, women's hockey team player Deepika Thakur, cricketer Deepak Honda and tennis player Deweej Sharan have also been recommended for the prestigious award, an official source told PTI after the selection committee's meeting in New Delhi. The 31-year-old Ishant has played 97 tests and 80 ODIs for India, grabbing over 400 international wickets. COVID-19 India planning bilateral air bubble flights with 13 nations, say Minister. India is negotiating with 13 countries, including Australia, Japan and Singapore, to establish separate bilateral air bubble arrangements for international flight operations. Civil Aviation Minister Hardeep Singh Puri said on Tuesday. Under a bilateral air bubble pact, airlines of both the countries can operate international flight with certain restrictions. Mr. Puri said on Twitter, air bubbles have also been proposed with our neighbours Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, Nepal and Bhutan. Death count in Kerala landslide goes up to 61. Nine still missing. Three more bodies were recovered from the landslide site at Pritimundi in the high range Iduki district on Tuesday, taking the toll to 61, official said. Nine people are still missing. The remains of a six year old boy and a 57 year old man were recovered, while one body is yet to be identified and nine more bodies have to be retrieved. Two ground penetrating radars. GPRs from Chennai along with a four-member team joined the search operation by Tuesday afternoon, Iduki collector H. Dinesh told PTI. So now we move towards our today's vocab section and our today's question is choose the word which is nearly opposite in meaning to the given word. So our today's first word is predilection which means preference towards something and the options are the first option is oblivion which means the state of being unaware or unconscious of what is happening around one the second option is objectivity the third option is aversion the fourth option is defeat and the answer of this question is Aversion, which means opposition. Our next word is cocophonous, which means harsh sounding. The options are, the first option is tamed, which means domesticate. The second option is harmonious. The third option is domestic and our fourth option is silent, which means noiseless. And the answer of this question is our fourth option, which is silent. 
and our today's last word is calumny it means it is the making of false statement that damage another's reputation the options are the first option is apology the second option is eulogy which means a speech or a piece of writing that praise someone or something highly the third option is enjoyment and the fourth option is reservation and the answer of this question is our second option which is eulogy so that's all our today's vocab section and if you like this channel hit the subscribe button and give a big thumb thank you so much jai hind jai bharat